Hey guys, I just wanted to give a few tips here while working in Procreate on how I basically flatten my artwork when it comes to the line art um, and even the borders. Uh, I'm going to talk about coloring, just a real quick little coloring tip as well, but just real quick before I do that. So I've got all my layers here. The main thing I do is I separate the borders from all the line artwork here that you see on the page. So. What I'll do is I will basically get all of these pages underneath the uh, panels, uh, excuse me, layers underneath the borders layer, and I'll just basically merge all of those together. So now if you look at the artwork here on the side, you know, this is all of the line art. So I'm gonna just label that line art, just like that. And so then I have the borders on a separate layer and I used to merge everything together, but then I figured out that I really like having my borders nice and uh, untouched when I'm uh, when I'm trying to do coloring because when I want to color the figures, the background, and all elements in between, it's really um, it's, it's really a nuisance to kind of have the the borders be attached to that. So I separate the borders so that way they just remain clean, they stay black. So now that I've got the line art flattened down. This is going to lead me into my second tip, which is when you're getting ready to color your pages, your artwork, don't set the mode to multiply. I used to do that because I thought, well, that's just the easiest way to, you know, make sure all the color fills underneath and the artwork on top, the line art is just over it. But I soon discovered after I got more into coloring my comic books that that created more problems than, than, I, than I even realized. So what I do instead is instead of doing multiply, I, I leave it to just normal. And part of that understanding was all this artwork is done natively in Procreate, drawn, penciled, ink, you know, what have you. And so really this line art is what I call a first generation piece of art. So like, it's kind of like if you were to draw on your uh, 11 by 17 original artwork on a paper, with ink and pens and brushes, that original paper artwork is the first generation. So when you scan it, it then goes into some digital capture, whether it's Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint or whatever, and that becomes like the second generation because it's a scan or it's a digitized version of your original artwork. And then obviously when you go to print, that's like, like a third generation. So when you're dealing with the first generation artwork here that was drawn natively in Procreate, there's no need to to try and clean up any white space because there there isn't any white space it's all just artwork and i'll show you what i mean by that just by a quick little example here i'll create a layer and if i were to just drag color into that layer you notice you still see all the artwork underneath there's no white space because again this wasn't a scan it was originally drawn in procreate so just undo that real quick so now this layer underneath the line art layer becomes what's going to be my flats layer so I'll just rename that for this example. We'll call that flats. And I typically tend to color all the figures on one layer. And then under that, underneath that, I'll have like the second flats layer, which is backgrounds. But the point I want to make today, uh, the main reason for the video is when I go to color the pages, let's just say I'm going to do the flats, the flatting stage here. Uh, I'll use the selection lasso tool here, set to freehand and set to color fill. What that allows me to do is with the pre-selected color here, it allows me to select this part of the body here, this entire figure, and it automatically fills it in. So I would just go through and fill in the whole character, just like that. See it here, this is one of my favorite aspects of working in Procreate. They just have the best lasso tool here. And I know that other programs can do that as well, probably. Clip Studio, which I've not used, uh, Photoshop, they just recently, relatively recently released, I think from um, that Webster guy who does all their brushes, who does like a million brushes for them, he created some special lasso tools that allow you to do this seamlessly without having to select and then just go, you know, fill manually. It does it just like this here. So uh, let me just fill in this guy's face here because it just looks strange without the face being fully filled in like that. Okay. All right. So for this example, the bot, the flats live underneath the line art. And 
The reason why I don't want to set it to multiply the line art layer is because it, it cuts off any ability to use any kind of effects on the line art if I wanted to do that by way of using the, the alpha mask. So what that is, is let's say this character here, the line art right now is just pure black. It's got a, a base fill underneath it, a flat, this kind of burgundy color. But I let's say I want to um, color the line art. So what you would do is go into the line art layer, click on the little thumbnail here, and then you give it um, uh, an alpha, alpha lock. So if I click alpha lock, what that does is it allows me to then color the line art. So let's just take a look at this. So let's say I wanted to give, um, we'll make it like maybe this blue color. I don't know what that's gonna look like. It might look a little hard to read, but let's say I wanted to color the line art itself. Um, I'm gonna switch to a different brush here, maybe airbrushing something like a soft brush. And if I just paint on this line art layer with the, again, the alpha lock check, that's gonna allow me to then just start to paint in anywhere where that black art is, line art. And see, sometimes you wanna do this kind of effect. Uh, maybe there's something about the character, maybe there's something external in the environment that's causing it to glow. Maybe, maybe it's a ghost and you wanna fade that black line art. And I think it's a pretty cool little effect that you can do if you have the artwork set up correctly by the blending modes, essentially. So, or I'm sorry, not blending modes, but essentially the um, alpha lock. So that's a cool little thing. And you wouldn't be able to do that if the line art was set to multiply. It wouldn't, it, it just doesn't work because it, while it will color the line art, like this is coloring it a lot, it doesn't do anything because it's blending with the color underneath it. But if I switch it back to normal, you can see it, it made it even more blue. So that's just one of the cool things about working with the alpha lock in Procreate and making sure that your line art is not set to multiply. And you know, you could also, while, we're, while I'm talking about that, you could do different blending modes with the line art. Uh, sometimes you can get neat little effects. You know, if you lighten it, you, you get an effect like this, but then that affects the black line artwork. You can do a color dodge and See, you can do a lot of cool things with the blending modes, but if you if you set it to multiply, you can't really do anything to that same degree in Procreate at least. So at any rate, that's just my tip for the day in Procreate. Um, don't set your artwork, your line art to multiply, um, unless there's a compelling reason why you need to, but I usually, usually leave it on normal. And then from there, I can do all of my color effects um, throughout the page and what's cool is like if I just want to isolate this background little This little artwork here that I've drawn I can totally color that as well Now you may ask well, what if I want to change that and I, I just don't I decide I don't want to do that aren't I damaging Or affecting the line art. Yes, you are working on the line art But here's the thing if you need to go back to black you just go back to black and then just paint that all back in get my opacity up and then you're back at black or back to black and again that's because all of the out that's because of the alpha the alpha lock on here now if you wanted to unturn you can turn it off and then it goes back to regular layer so anyway that's just my tip on color flatting and utilizing making sure the layer of the original artwork is set to normal so that you can take advantage of using the alpha lots. You can create some really cool effects with your line art.